Previously in Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution, we took the role of Adam Jensen, head of security for Sheriff Industries, managed to uh, infiltrate uh, Sheriff's manufacturing plant that uh, is being attacked by terrorist group, purists uh, who took some hostages who Adam managed to save here near the assembly lab and now we need to head in deeper to the plant and secure the prototype typhoon we have security cameras controlled by the terrorists to worry about guards that patrol the area who we want to take out silently to get uh, as much experience as we can. And uh, it's not gonna be easy. But uh, we will try. Stay away from the green cone of the camera. Take down this guy before he turns around. Just in time. another camera here to worry about the camera back there can't see this far luckily we could go to the corridor on the left to get forward but I want to take out the guards here that the camera spotted me luckily it didn't have time to alert these guards here who are now ready to be taken down back now to that breaking news out of Detroit Police are still not saying much about not the situation, much noise, but sources please. tell me that a militant group of pro-human activists have raided a Seraph Industries plant. Factory workers have been taken hostage, and the entire city holds its collective breath. Indeed. Trying my best. Gas station on 2nd Street. Weapons. I doubt I need to remind you folks that this is the second time the biotechnology firm has been attacked. The first time, six months ago, on the eve of controversial hearings set to scrutinize the company's research. With those hearings permanently on hold, many are now wondering if something else may be going on. Is David Seraph hiding something? For tonight, this is Eliza Kassan reporting to you live. Serif Industries rising to tomorrow. Factory workers have been taken hostage and the entire 
20 years ago opened the, opened the doors in Detroit. Red, red the day's newspaper already. Is David Seraph hiding something? So we are ready to move. So as that camera looks the other way. Even that the camera spotted us suspicious. We didn't see us fully. So uh, we are still still able to get the ghost bonus for un being unseen. Access granted. Hacked our way through the door. Fuckers are lying to us, I guess. Just like Zeke said. I hope Zeke knows what he's doing. Me too, man. Me too. You know, three guards in the area. Let's try to take down these crates as quietly as possible. That's not quiet. this way we can get in with slightly safer route and we get to experience bonus for it. We have one of the one of the terrorists here. After him right from there, but I wasn't sure how fast he'd turn around. Could have alerted his friends. So we'll take care of him as soon as he turns around now. Later, when we get this mission done, Do not forget to get ammo from his gun. Now, here we have a slightly tricky situation with these three guys here in this room. We could go to the left uh, quite easily without these guys seeing seeing us and get through uh, get through the area and on with the mission. But uh, I want to take them out just to get all the experience and for the second part show show how it's done. But uh, as I said, this is this is somewhat tricky. Might even fail at it, I don't know. The guy in the middle is the probably the most problematic of it. He 
here I just managed to take down this car without the guy in the middle seeing it. Uh, so now it's a matter of... matter of taking down the guy on the side. Or this guy, center. And hoping he doesn't see our friend here. Right about now. He didn't. That's a good thing. should take down the other guy first and then this guy at the middle. Fuck! Zig said there'll be something in here. I'm not here. How am I supposed to know what I'm looking for? At least not me. Inventory full. Guess it is. Hmm. Let's do one thing here. Let's load our weapons. Even that we are not using them. That way we'll free up some space. Or not. Okay, machine pistol ammo. Credits we always have space for. Is there anything else here? There's one more guy in the storage area, so. Let's take him down as well. <laughs> right about these areas we are running out of inventory space. Was there anything else here? But that's revolver ammo. We could be dropping dropping the stuff we are not using, but uh, or use our inventory points to grow the use our experience points to grow the inventory. But uh, I'll I'll use this damage upgrade to. Um, Improve our 10 mm pistol, which is probably what I'll use if I use any weapons, as that's a weapon I can silence later in the game using a silencer. We're done with this area and ready to move on.
here we find the Praxis Kit, which our experience points turn into. So uh, I guess they can be considered kind of the levels. And these Praxis points we can use to improve Adam's abilities. These uh, yellow ones are ones that have already been activated and can be upgraded with one Praxis. And the ones that are not yellow yet need two points to be activated before before getting getting further in them. I'll save my praxis for now and I'll decide what what to take later. One of the things I probably will take is uh, the social enhancer, which is nice nice for the first first walkthrough and. Um, other important things are uh, hacking at least two, maybe, oops, wrong key, maybe getting a more, more uh, inventory space, carrying capacity, or uh, moving and throwing heavy objects. All those will will come useful later in the game to uh, get into areas uh, otherwise otherwise unaccessible. Here in this area we don't have any guards, but we do have security camera and a turret. That uh, the turret will shoot us if it uh, gets the chance. The trick is being seen by the turret does not affect us getting the ghost experience point bonus unlike uh, guards seeing us would I actually want to take that what to do what to do Additional points. Well, I guess Adam could use a little whiskey here. In the middle of all this nonsense. Just get that item and uh, I guess uh, do a little hacking here. As soon as I get to see the one in the middle, oh, now there it is. I'm doing this part pretty much only for experience, and uh, in hacking these uh, monitor-looking things are just data storage things to go through. It's a green bubble circle is our target and then these uh, uh, cubes are uh, something that uh, might might contain some uh, credits credits or items or such which is quite interesting so uh, I'll be I'll be going through these all even that I am detected because I want want all the stuff from here before getting to the final Access target granted. so I got some experience and I also got the additional nuke virus which can be used for hacking if I had augmentations in place I could uh, hack the turrets and the, and the cameras but uh, for now I'm uh, forced just to avoid them and as said being seen by the turret does not affect the ghost ghost bonus. I'm not 100% sure if that affects the smooth operator. So I haven't played that much that I would have seen that. The turret here gives a bit of experience, so I think I'll waste 
some of my ammo on it. The easiest way to do that is to get behind this column and uh, just shoot the thing. As uh, the turret turrets can't hit. Adam behind this with something like something like a grenade. This would go a bit faster. And uh, as I said I'm not <laughs> not exactly sure if it's actually worth Worth the 45 experience points to do that. Uh, you'd probably get more experience points for uh, hacking the turret if you use the augmentations for it. Step away from the console. Now! Help me! Son of a bitch! Pritchard, you still there? Where else would I be? Patch me to Seraph, now. Adam, it's David. You got the Typhoon? Yeah, but you were right about there being something more behind this. Because I've also got a dead purist in here with some pretty interesting cerebral implants. Don't touch him. We'll need an expert to recover his neuro hub. In case it's booby-trapped. Copy that. What about Sanders? SWAT's pressure me to let them off the leash. Find them before they do, and deal with them. Roger that. Sometimes there's stuff under the boxes, but not too often. But that's one I happen to happen to know. So we got one one part of our mission done. Got the typhoon prototype. But now we have to deal with the rest of the terrorists if we want to, and I do, and also find the terrorist leader. Jake. 